Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to kind of share, show you guys what sort of things I eat as a vegetarian. Um, so I haven't really shared this with you guys but about a month ago I made the decision to become a vegetarian. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a while now and kind of like dabbled with, oh my god don't ever do that again, you know, I'm just I just want them so much. It's kind of something that I like toyed with the idea of doing and then I guess just like out of convenience I was like no not no but just never like took the push to do it just because obviously when I cook meals I cook meals for both me and Martin who eats meat uh, but yeah but like I said a month ago I kind of made the plunge to uh, become vegetarian uh, Martin used to work on a farm when he was younger and his dad works on a farm so he's kind of told me some bits and bobs of you know the kinds of things that goes on there and it just literally breaks my heart and I think my guilty conscience just caught up with me and I just decided that I was going to become vegetarian. So here we are. So what I wanted to do is just share with you guys just a couple of things that I eat. This is not a cook with me, Jamie Oliver, Gordon Ramsay, I'm going to show you all these vegetarian meals. I just want to share like the basics with you guys because I know like when I went vegetarian I was like what am I going to eat which is a stupid thing because there's so much that you can eat um, but again it's just kind of like out of convenience because obviously now I do have to cook two different meals, one for me, one for Martin. He is remaining to eat meat which is not a problem, that's his choice, I would never force him to do that that's completely down to him um so yeah so i make two separate meals on an evening which is a pain in the ass um but it's kind of not too bad because i try and keep them like relatively the same so what i want to do is show you some of the things that i've been eating so first i've got this corn mince a lot everything here apart from like two things is corn it's not sponsored i wish it was sponsored that would be insane um but it's not this is just kind of like the lazy vegetarian girl with making food so we've got the corn mince here which is delicious um one of the like main meals that we were eating before i was vegetarian was chili um and martin is still enjoying that so i'm still making it so instead of obviously using mince for mine i'm just using this corn mince and everything else is exactly the same you know the sauce kidney beans vegetables everything is the same apart from that and it's so easy to do it's literally like doing normal chili um but i've got two pans on the go which is annoying especially when you've got to do the washing up but it is what it is and that's what we do for the animals um so mince is well the corn mince is one of the things that i've been loving so like i said we make chili um spaghetti which i haven't yet done actually it's just not something that we've made in the past couple of weeks but i'm thinking about making that so that should be interesting have i used anything else for that oh martin's mum made us a um corn mince lasagna which was so lovely because i told her that obviously when we go home and she cooks us food i told her that she didn't have to make any separate meals for me like she could just i'll just sort myself out but she made us this huge like corn lasagna because lasagna was my favorite food and so she made this and honestly it was so good like I was concerned that like I love lasagna so much that I'm gonna miss it but the, like the corn one was just unreal so shout out to mine's mum June for that um the next thing that I've been eating again is corn it's these corn pieces um I call them like chicken pieces obviously they're not chicken but they're essentially like a chicken substitute so I've been using them for anything that we're making like stir fries um, what else have I used? Oh, fajitas. That's another one we make quite a lot. Um, just anything where Martin will have like chicken or turkey. I'll just shot them in. And again, they're delicious. They're so easy to do. Um, I think out of all of the corn products, I mean, I haven't tried all of them. Um, but out of the ones I have tried, I think they might be the ones that you have to get used to just that little bit more because they are, especially the frozen ones, the fresh ones, not so much. I think the fresh ones are a lot better um of the pieces and i do prefer them but i just we just have these frozen ones and um, obviously because we've just got so much water in them they are kind of like juicy um but i mean that's fine it still tastes fine obviously if you cook food with 
seasoning and sauce and stuff it doesn't really it's not that big of a deal um like i said I do prefer the fresh ones so if i can get my hands on those then i will but the frozen ones are absolutely fine and obviously they last longer just take a sip of my green tea so that's those the next things which are probably my favorite corn product and i think are a lot of people's favorite corn product are the crispy nuggets um, obviously, as you can see, I've opened this bag. Um, oh, I've just smelt them. These are so good, I swear. Even when I wasn't vegetarian, I would buy these and eat them because they're just so delicious. Like, a lot of people say that, like, they're a substitute for, like, McDonald's nuggets. And who doesn't like a McDonald's nugget? You know, like, I was obsessed with them. These, like, if you put, if you put these in a box that had an M on it and give them to someone, I swear I don't think they'll be able to tell the difference. Um, maybe that's a video that I could do. Um, yeah, so those are amazing. Literally for dinner sometimes, I would just put 10 in a tray in the oven and just have 10 nuggets for dinner with some sauce. And I'm 27 year old saying that, so confessional. And the last thing that I have been absolutely loving, like last little meal, um, which I actually found on the internet when I was searching for vegetarian meals. This again is just another easy thing to do. Is a potato gnocchi pasta bake. Um, so if you don't know what gnocchi is, it's just these little potato dumplings. You find them in the pasta section in supermarkets. I'm sure the majority of you know what it is anyway. Um, and then just put this pasta bake sauce. I always like the like creamy tomato type. Um, you know what? Wow. <laughs> What am I even saying? And make a pasta bake with it. So I literally just boil the gnocchi um, for a couple of minutes. It literally takes about five minutes, if that, to boil. Mix it in with the sauce, um, put it in a dish. Obviously add any like peppers, mushrooms that you want to add, and then just grate a hell of a lot of cheese on top. Um, yeah, and that again is one of my favorite ones. Um, the only thing I will say that I have found with us having to do separate meals, like myself and Martin, is that we have a lot of food left over, so we are freezing a lot more food than we used to, which is convenient um, when you can't be bothered to cook. Uh, but yeah, we, we are ending up with a lot of leftover stuff and our freezer is just full of tubs and bowls that we really actually can't afford to have in the freezer because we need them. Overall, I would say that this whole like vegetarian process journey has been really easy like there's literally nothing that i've missed um i did slip off like in the first week when we went to tesco because i bought a pack of um red and black wine gums and i totally forgot that like gelatin is in them um so that was like my first mistake but that's kind of it and since then i've been conscious to check like gummy sweets and things so i think i tried some of the candy kittens watermelon uh sweets which weren't that good mm, they weren't really i expect them to be a bit more like tangy but they weren't they were just really really sweet um and as does like as does own like mix up selection that you do like five little bags for a pound they are all vegetarian which is great um so i can still keep being a pig and eat sweets uh, but yeah so far it's really easy like there's been nights when we've had martin's had a takeaway and he's got in a kebab don't judge him kebabs are actually very delicious um when you've got the hankering for one and he's had a kebab um and i've just had like what did i have last time i had just had a pizza all the time before that i had um uh, just a garlic pit with salad as you do um yeah that's it really so i just kind of wanted to document this little journey that i'm on um but if any of you vegetarians are out there and know some like products that you think i should try meals that i should cook tips tricks whatever to make my life easier then please let me know because i'm more than happy to embrace them in with open arms well thank you very much um for watching my video i don't know what i'm doing um and i hope to see you all again soon bye bye why can't you just sit normally?